Hey everybody, welcome to Whiskey Whistle. I'm your host Mark and this is Whiskey Review number 154. Whiskey Whistle, where flavor is number one priority. Uh, it is St. Patrick's Day 2017. It's March 17th. Uh, again, if you're waking up in the morning and uh, you're not sure what day it is, put on your green underwear, your green socks, green necktie, green pants, whatever you've got that's green, put it on and get yourself to work feeling oh so happy. Uh, now this is the second um, uh, second St. Patrick's uh, blah, blah, blah. Now this is the second St. Patrick's Day review and uh, well it's the only other Irish whiskey I've got so no other choice but to get this done today. And this one comes from the West Cork uh, well it comes from West Cork Distillers I should say and it's known as the West Cork Single Malt Irish Whiskey. This one is 10 years old. It's 40% ABV. And according to the website, which I think is only just, just new maybe, I think it's pretty, a pretty new website. But anyway, on the website, it does state that this is unchill filtered and that no added color. No, uh, no colorant has been added. No E150 has been added. So, now that would be really nice if that happened to be on the uh, bottle. I don't see it here. Uh, there's no mention of color. Of course, this is the UK label where they don't need to put that. Uh, and the Korean label also just lists, uh, what does it say? Uh... It just says, uh, whiskey one egg, percent, uh, 100% whiskey, um, whiskey one egg, uh, pure liquid, I guess. Pure liquid, original liquid, one egg. Anyway, um, no mention of that, but I think in Korea, they don't have to mention, uh, the color. I've never seen anything, uh, like that on a label before on whiskey. Um, anyway, uh, anyway, so on the website, no color added, non-chill filtered, and maybe I will show you that to you right here. Here we are. All right. Okay, so westcorkdistillers.com, uh, there it is, and I'll make that nice and big for you. There, can you see that right there? That says, non-chill filtered, no added color, no added caramel. Okay. Well, they should be careful of the wording there. I would hope there's no added caramel. What I would really like to know is, is that there is no added caramel coloring. Um, anyway, non-chill filtered. Now that doesn't mean that it's not filtered. It just means that it doesn't ha that it's not chill filtered. Um, so that would mean that the filtration happens at, say, room temperature. Okay. Uh, great to know. Now a little bit about um, West Cork Distillery, the West Cork Distillers. Uh, let's find out about that. Where is it? Team. Now this is directly from the website, so you can find that yourself, westcorkdistillery.com. Uh, West Cork Distillery, Distillery was founded in 2003 by three close friends, Dennis McCarthy, uh, Ger McCarthy, Jer, Jer McCarthy, John O'Connell in Union Hall, West Cork, Ireland. Jer and Dennis had been deep sea trawler men, whilst John was a research and development scientist for some large blue chip food and beverage companies. Uh, inspi inspired by West Cork's proud history in artisan food and beverage production, the three lifelong friends set about establishing a distillery to produce the highest quality spirits and provide sustainable employment in this beautiful and remote part of Ireland. The team at West Cork Distillers has grown steadily since its inception to encompass the can-do famous, uh, famous West Cork spirit. And um, uh, let's see. Uh, interesting distillery also. They do a lot of things on site. 
the distillery at West Cork is very unique uh, in that most of the mashing, fermentation, and distilling equipment was handcrafted on site by the team at WCD. Um, so very much a hands-on operation there. No other distillery workforce can be so knowledgeable and intimately married to its equipment. Uh, West Coke Distillers has several notable ways of working uh, which all contribute to making the finest quality spirits. Uh, West Coke Distillery is the most southerly located distillery on the Atlantic Ar Ar uh, Archipelago. <laughs> on the Atlantic Archipelago, which provides a unique mesothermal microclimate for which West Cork is famous and which is ideal for the maturation of Irish whiskey. WCD triple distills all its Irish whiskey, so all triple distilled. WCD malts some of its own barley. Well, that's good news. WCD uses only Irish grown grain in the production of its Irish whiskey. Well, that's really nice. That tells you that they're respecting the terroir. Uh, they're respecting the uh, grow local kind of uh, movement. Grow local, uh, uh, buy local. <laughs> okay, of course you have to grow local. Uh, WCD only uses pot stills in the production of its Irish whiskey. WCD only uses spring water in the production of its Irish, Irish whiskey. No treated municipal water is used. Uh, WCD only half fills its spirit stills in order to allow for maximum copper spirit vapor interactions, which is key to the production of quality Irish whiskey. All right. Um, now, they have been highly commended by Whiskey Magazine for their Icons of Whiskey Awards uh, as Craft Producer of the Year 2017 for the rest of the world. In other words, not Scotland. So that's cool. Now, um, pot stills, their pot stills are fitted with, uh, it looks like, three chamber column stills on top. Uh, so that's interesting. So that means that uh, they can leave all the valves open and then essentially have something equivalent to just a regular old pot still um, or they can put the, uh, uh, the plates in and then do something that is more, well slightly more like a column still. These are stills that are fairly common in use in USA um, and uh, uh, likely also in Canada and probably in other parts of the world as well. Um, anyway, uh, interesting. All right, on to the whiskey. Let's check that out. We'll go on to the tasting now. We will check out the nose, how it smells, the palate, how it tastes, and then the finish, the aftertaste, how it tastes after I've swallowed. And uh, if I didn't mention that, that's 40% ABV. They've called that a mahogany color. Now, uh, to my eyes, this is just basically just a nice bright golden hue. Um, perhaps like a roasted green color. Okay, so it looks very much like uh, the barley fields, the barley fields, the wheat fields uh, in Manitoba, where I'm from. And if you're new to the channel, I should say that I am Canadian. Uh, my hometown is Winnipeg, but I live in Seoul, South Korea. All right. On to the nose. We'll have a very short word from the YouTube sponsors here. Welcome back. The nose for West Cork Single Malt Irish Whiskey, 10-year-old. Now, the cool thing about this is that, it, yes, it's single malt, uh, but now we know that it's triple distilled. It's also Irish whiskey, and most certainly this has an Irish whiskey quality to it. It is very, sorry about the noise, that's my dog drinking water. Rocky, shut up, please. <laughs> All right. Um, it is very... Uh, woodsy, very much like walking through the woods. 
especially if uh, some trees have been cut down recently. And yet it's got a, a pretty, pretty, very, very um, uh, potent, that's the word I'm looking for, potent malt uh, kind of a, f f f uh, well, that's the sound, of the sound of those vapors coming off, uh, a malty kind of a oomph coming from it. Uh, some nice fruits as well, a basket of fruits, a little bit of citrus, lots of summer stone fruits, apples and pears. Maybe some strawberries in there too. Mm -hmm. A few red fruits. Now, I believe that this has been um, barreled in ex-bourbon barrels. I'd like to confirm that right now. I did forget, so let me just have a look here. They have another product called the Bourbon Cask. So that's not the Bourbon Cask. Uh, this one does not mention the cork, uh, the corking, the uh, barreling. Uh, I'm guessing, though, that uh, it, it would be 100% um, or at least 80% bourbon. Um, edit that out. All right. Now, let me just check out my notes here. Oh, it's right there. Why am I licking my finger? All right. Yes. Now, uh, that fruity note, it's also very candy-esque and uh, to, my t to, my, to my nose, anyway, uh, it very much reminds me of uh, the Fun Dip, Fun Dip, the candy stick. So that candy stick uh, that's in the middle uh, and you got the powder on either sides there. That's the thing that it reminds me of. And then I wrote here, fresh lumber, custard, apple cinnamon, uh, cracked pepper, cars, table water. So there's a grainy kind of peppery note here. And, uh, and then I wrote here, Irish whiskey smell, pine, oak. Is it the washbacks was my question mark. So is there something about the washbacks or... Uh, is there something about the barley itself? Uh, it could be the, the just the very sheer fact that that is Irish uh, barley. Uh, there's no green barley used in here since it's a malt. Uh, anyway, so interesting. All right, on to the palate. Cheers, everyone, and a very happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Forty percent ABV, fairly soft, but also very buttery. Still a lot of wood going on here. Um, these are some fantastic casks that they've used here. Very nice. Uh, I wrote here, soft, buttery, green grape skins, uh, apples cooked in butter, uh, nutmeggy, a little bit of ginger. So then you get a bit of dryness and some vanilla caramels. Now, a hint of pepper. Nothing like the previous review. Nothing like Talisker uh, for its pepperiness. This is more like uh, like like the the pepper in a cracker, which you can barely barely even notice that it's actually peppery, but slightly you can. Hmm. A little bit of citrus in there. 
Very nice. The finish. The flavors carry on pretty long uh, for a 10 year old. Um, probably would be uh, a good challenger for 12 to 15 year old uh, single malt scotch whiskies from the big brands. Um, I write here vanilla, bit of spice, warm oaky spice to it. Um, and uh, then a dryness that's akin to a whiskey sour, the cocktail. Hmm. Yeah, big, big, big oakiness there. And still that pine, that uh, kind of uh, pine lumber um, flavor note smell that I've uh, come to know as what to expect from an Irish whiskey. Add a little bit of water. See what happens with that. Now gently stroll around the glass. No shaky shakies. Now it's funny. I actually read in uh, a scientific journal that um, yes, there's an interaction between the water and the uh, flavor uh, and smell compounds, um, esters and uh, whatever. And what they, what this article had said was that agitation is what's really needed um, to get some of these um, interesting interesting scents come out. And you will get a bigger um, waft of something, which I notice here. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Very green forward now. Little, and again, a lot of wood. More than cinnamon, though. More like... Um, more like a sap. But uh, in a good way. Hmm. Okay. Now, uh, what did I write here for the nose here? Uh, I write more candied. And then something which is similar to a dry white wine. So, uh, and that's the... Uh, oak aged, barrel aged, a dry white wine, something that is um, like a, a French white. <sighs> Interesting. And um, what does that say? Uh, looks like, is it peppermint? Gosh, I don't know what I wrote there. One of the pitfalls of being a lefty. Uh, all right, on to the palette. And we'll have another short little word from the YouTube sponsors right here. Welcome back. This is West Cork 10-year-old Irish single malt whiskey. Cheers. Hmm. It's drier. More herbs. Um, I'm noticing a lot more strength in the flavor now with water added. Tropical fruits coming through. Um, some papaya. And, um, well, a nicely uh, ripened guava. Guava is fairly sour. But uh, when it's ripe, you get that sort of, um, well, guava flavor. There's no other flavor like it. Hmm. Papaya and guava. Interesting. Um, for the finish, I write here that it's waxier. Um, 
and um, that the herbs, the herbal notes, carry on. It's dry, but it's got this flavor. So it's not just like you're left with that kind of dryness that leaves you wanting to drink some water. But it's got enough flavor to it that it's giving a kind of a herbal essence. Uh, that um, slight wood, uh, pine lumber, little bit of mint, a little bit of fruit skin or uh, fruit tea type of effect. Um, and a little bit dry, not, not too dry though. All right, anyway, uh, really interesting and uh, definitely worth um, what I paid for it, which was uh, I think I want to say about 75000 80000 I got this at the malt shop, which is located in uh, the uh, Gangnam area, not near Gangnam, Gangnam Station. Uh, anyway, it's definitely uh, a Gangnam style type of uh, place to shop. Great prices. Um, so probably um, in, some, in some cases the best prices when they've got something... Um, their monthly specials, and if not, uh, then uh, the second best uh, prices and a very nice selection also. So check them out. Uh, the Malt Shop. Uh, you can check out, uh, what is it? Malts, Malt? Malts. Malts.co.kr. Hmm, all right. Um, yeah, time for the scoring for this one. So St. Patrick's Day, we've got a Irish whiskey, so that's good. Let's give it a score so you know whether to know whether or not to go out and get it. Uh, and I would say absolutely. Uh, I'm going to give this 85 out of 100. 85, yeah, 85 out of 100. That's the whiskey whistle whiskey score for West Cork, 10 year old single malt Irish whiskey. Um, interesting flavors, well put together. Uh, probably would be um, much more potent at 43% and 46% uh, would probably turn some heads. Uh, great that it is um, purported to be non-chill filtered. Uh, if the West Cork um, distillers are watching this, uh, try to get that on the label. That would be great. Uh, likewise with the color. Um, so maybe just a little sticker since you've already gone to the uh, uh, expense of making such a very interesting uh, label get a load of that one um, why not just a little sticker here that would be nice okay so 85 out of 100 that's the whiskey whistle whiskey score for West Cork single malt Irish whiskey the 10 year old thanks for watching everyone don't forget to subscribe and uh, there'll be a few choices for you here. Uh, you can subscribe over here or you can watch a couple other of interesting things. I'll put some links to some I other Irish whiskeys that you might like uh, to watch and to try. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.